Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a HTML feedback page, an expression web for. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to create a HTML feedback page, an expression web for. Let me see right now. Open Microsoft Expression Web for just by clicking the icon. And now, first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the form tag between the body tags. Form followed by the name. Let us say me. You can able to give any name. Then close the form tag. And in between this form tag, because we are going to use form control. If you are not using the form tag, each and every time when you use the control, it will create a new form tag. So better to use the form tag first, and then I'm going to insert a picture. Just select the picture, insert. It will ask for the rename or sorry, alternate text. Give the text as FTI. Click OK, and later. It can able to resize it, make it smaller, and then type fisherman training institute Salala. So, I want this font to be bigger. So select the font. Let us say H1. It's more bigger. Okay. Select this. Let us say heading two, which comes in your new line. So, what I'm going to do is select the text and go to default size and make it extra large. Okay. Select the text. Go to default size. And select double X large. Okay, fine. And next, I'm going to make center alignment, and then I'm going to insert a table. Let us say two into three or two into four. Okay, so first, I'm going to select the two columns, and then right click. And then use the option modify next cells. Let us say fisherman training and secure feed feedback form. Okay, fine. And then select the text, go to default size, make it large, and make it bold, and make it center. And if you want to provide, if you want to give the background color, just click anywhere on this row. Right click, select row. First, you want to select the row, and then there's a background. You can select the background. Apply it. Okay, fine. And next. Let us say name. So what we have to do is we want to insert an input box to enter the name. So you can able to decrease the size. Okay. And then here what happens see here the alignment is not good because this is putting in form tag see here is a form tag see so you just delete this and delete this because see our form tag has been closed here so you just cut it and paste it 
after table and before body tag. Now you see the alignment. Okay, now it's good. So just select the table and make it bigger. And next, let us say college name. So again, an input text box. somewhat bigger in size it can increase or decrease the size and college name let us say and address so if it is a case I want to use text area to enter the college name and address and next let us say student info so information so for this also we can use text area to enter the details of a student and then let us say mobile number so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a drop-down box for entering the country code let us say add 91 specify the value okay add let us say 968 and add and you can add okay and then here I'm going to use text box to provide the mobile number so how to so now I want to insert some more value how to do this yes good the answer is use tab if you want to create a new row see a new row a new row has been created okay so now I want to do rating okay let us say excellent I'm going to use a video because user can select any one of this let's say good and average let's say and next I need one more row use tab and let us say comments so for comments I should use text area at last I want to use the submit button double click so I'm going to make it right alignment and double click it let us say submit click OK and here I'm going to enter reset double click it let us say reset and click OK now your form is ready so if you want to give the border select the table here is all border you can assign the border now you see you can do like this and how to run this what do you have to do yeah right before running this you want to save it go to save let us say create new folder let us say feedback let us say feedback.html feedback okay now the html web page has been saved now it's time to run Okay, so here is your option. Click here, select the browser. Now you can able to see. Now you can enter your name. Okay, let us say. Okay, so I can use enter. Salala Oman. Let us see student information A A A 
electronics foundation mobile number select the mobile number and you can enter the mobile number let us say good let us say excellent and commence good and you can submit it and if you want to clear the values you can use reset okay this is how you want to use the form controls i think you guys may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video